Hello and welcome to the next episode of our Let's Play of Sid Meier's Civilization VI as the Maya with the Hermetic Order Secret Society. We found another barbarian camp somewhere. Oh, it's over there. There's one up there too, that's fine. We're gonna hard build apprenticeship because I don't see the opportunity to get a third mine and we'll just have to make do with that. We've got another settler. I think it's important to go settle this city next, so that's what I will do. Yep. So we'll do that. Actually, we'll probably cancel the movement and move them one at a time. That desert city is going to be pretty bad until we get a builder in there. So I can't actually, I actually can't wait for serfdom so I can start buying some builders. Make some improvements. I could go for a monument in the capital, but I think it's probably time to get another settler just to get these cities going. Yeah, I don't think I really need that monument so much. Like, two culture is... It's almost 10% of our culture economy for six turns. Well, we're at our population now, so I think I'll go ahead and put down the commercial hub. Just lock in the price of the hub. That would be a plus three hub, but I think this will also be a plus three hub. So we'll do it that way. and then we will build that settler. I would like to get another trader because another trader would be more gold. Okay, we immediately got our scout killed. I don't think there's that much to explore anymore anyway, so... We got a terrible great scientist. We will wait for someone else to take him. I'm going to be pretty aggressive in trying to get Isaac Newton. Because I think Newton is the best one, no holds barred. All right. Gosh, how close are we to, to boosting feudalism? We have one farm, two farm. If I had played this differently, I could have gotten a quick feudalism. And I feel like Maya is the sieve. If there's any sieve to get a quick feudalism, it's the Maya. To boost feudalism like that? Ugh. If I finish this builder, then I could build one, two, three. There's up to five, and then six is there already. I think I just got to hard build feudalism, because if I hard build feudalism, then I can get two extra builder charges on this builder. Speaking of which, let me just dump a little bit of time into a library in here. I'm going to produce eight turns for a library. That would be so good. I don't know who's next in the classical era in terms of great scientists. But that also gives me plus two science so I can catch up with the rest of them. I'm thinking I probably want the city to be a coastal city so I can get a harbor down and then actually get some um, trading. Go meet the new world, see what's over there, see if there are any relevant city-states. So I might get a harbor there and then... It's a plus two observatory if I settle it right there. I guess I can make it plus three. And if I'm going to build a harbor, I might as well actually try to get the mausoleum. That might be all the city can even do for me, is to just get the mausoleum going. Because if I can pick up the mausoleum, it's worth the build charge on every engineer that I make. It might be a mistake to try and get the mausoleum this game, because this city will have no production. It'll just be really, really bad. There's no growth tiles. It's off water. I need farms. I think I can live without the extra build charge. I'll figure that out when I get there. For now, I think I just produce another settler because I could get another library in eight turns or I could get a whole another city. Four turns for a builder. That would be really strong because I could then chop out settlers out of here. As a matter of fact, I think I, my chops are done in this city, so I'm going to reassign him to Kalak Mall. Yeah, actually, I've done this a little bit wrong. What I need to do is get these builders almost finished before feudalism finishes, 
because we'll switch out from our extra production towards settlers or sort towards builders. As a matter of fact, seven turns towards a builder. I could have the city make its own builder, but I think I'd rather have the city make its own districts. Let's buy a granary in here to get it to grow because I want to take advantage of the tile flip for two districts, so it really, really needs to grow. I'll probably also buy this tile as well when I get the chance to. So now we can get over here. Is there any other place I could get a, a builder really quick? Yes, I can delay the audience chamber for just a couple turns, which is worth doing to get this builder. I just need to switch away from all three builders before feudalism finishes. Or sorry, before they finish, so I can finish feudalism. Okay, there's apprenticeship. Boom. They're all two turns away from builders, so we can we're good for one more turn. Let's settle this city. How long until a builder? 21 turns. I think I'll probably send this builder up to help Kirigua. I need a monument in this city so I can grow the tiles. Actually, no, we can actually culture bomb if we get an observatory down. I say we, we go ahead and 80 gold. I think buy this tile and, and get the observatory down and, and running. It's basically the same thing. Commercial hub would be better because it'll flip more tiles, but how long do I have this? I have that for 25 turns. And the city has pretty low production until I get a builder over here. Once a, once a builder's here, it'll be better. Let's put some time into a monument and then well, actually, let's put some time to a granary because we will always need the housing. Apprenticeship is done. Let's go towards an education and then we'll get dams. Because uh, this is also worth a little bit of production too if I get those universities. Governor title. Well, I know I want to go ahead and take ritual. Let's just do that. It's not, it's not min-maxing, but it's fine. I don't anticipate a war, so I won't need to appoint a quick victor. I don't need to get an Amani for era score. I'll get another uh, promotion in just a bit. Uh, oops. Let's go over here. Let's get open borders with China. Pay me? Yes, you pay me. Let's get open borders with Spain. Yes, you will pay me. Excalente, as they say in Espanol. Okay, now I will take the Diplo favor because we've settled every city that we intend to settle in his area, and we can just immediately send. Oh wow, that's in China. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we've settled every city we intend to settle against China, and so we can just get thirty free Diplo favor that we can immediately sell. That's a good rate. What about Spain? That's a good rate. I also probably should sell my luxuries. Oh, I guess he's not cooking with spices anymore. What about you? Five gold per turn? That's worth it. That's also, I think, 20 Diplo favors. Six gold per turn? I'll take it. I'll just hinder them evenly. Six gold per turn. There we go. So now we have enough gold to at least buy this high growth tile right here. We might also buy that uh, the mine in the turn or two so we can produce faster, so we can get these districts down faster. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, that's a replay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> as soon as I shipped that turn, I knew that I was going to do that. I'll just replay that turn exactly how it was. But I had one charge, or I have one turn left on producing those builders, and I want to switch away for feudalism. I already said that's what I was going to do, so it's quite clearly just a misplay on my part. It's not like I 
got myself into a situation where I didn't know what was going to happen. And then I regretted what happened. It's just a misplay. And I want to, I want to back up. So I'm going to, if you don't like it, then just give yourself three minutes to forget about it. And then you will. <laughs> it's a single player game. I get to make the rules. Okay, there's our eruption. Okay, we are one turn away, so we're gonna switch away from builders in both of these cities. Let's put it time towards a library in both of them because we're about to be able to get universities and this one as well. We'll put time towards the audience chamber. Oops. Put time towards the audience chamber here. All right, and what did I do? I went and I got, sold my Diplo favor, right? 20 Diplo favor. Six gold per turn. I sold the spices. Five gold per turn. And then I sold the Diplo favor here. 20, give me. Boom. There we go. Okay. And then I went and I bought this tile, didn't I? I believe I did. I don't think I did anything else. Feels bad to not boost mathematics. We will be building a commercial hub soon and very soon. So yeah, let's actually switch away. Let's go towards sailing. We're not gonna found a city on the coast. Let's get buttress. Oh, he's vampires and crossbows. I can never make Spain mad at me. If Spain is ever mad at me, this game will be much more difficult. Okay, so there's feudalism. We can go ahead and plug in serfdom. And now we have builders to grab. Let's put a builder in and then we finish our library. Let's put in for a builder here and then we can finish our settler. Do I want another settler of Calic Mall? I think I want to go ahead and start working on infrastructure in Calic Mall. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish the library. I could also place the industrial zone because I know I want it to be right here and I want it to be Calic Mall's industrial zone. But another good thing could be the commercial hub because that also actually will give me a, a culture bomb if I finish the commercial hub. Let's just lock in the price of that commercial hub. Then we'll build builder, hub, library. Calic Mall has, has basically done its job. Oh, I could chop out settlers of Calic Mall. That was the plan with this builder all along, oops. Okay, we will chop out settlers out of here. So let me just remove those from the queue real quick. Feudalism is done. What do I want next? I wanted to wrap back around to recorded history. And then we want to get to Merchant Republic as quickly as we can, I think. Maintain four trade routes. We can do that. We just need to finish our commercial hubs. There's two, three, and uh, four is going to be down here. There's recorded history. We can also swap in the um, natural philosophy card, but I think I I think I'd rather wait on that for a little bit. I'm not too far behind in science. I have plenty of time to catch up. What I need to do is get my my empire online, get my cities going. So I'll spend one charge on the spices, and then I'll chop here for yeah. That's a hill. That's a hill, and this is also a hill. So I have three chops that I can chop out settlers with. Do you have a governor? Uh, promotion. Let's go ahead and grab provision on him. That's probably the best. That's sort of a short-term play, but hmm. do I want provision? Provision leads to black marketer. Whereas surplus logistics just helps now. And then I could get industrialist into vertical integration. How many uh, industrial zones will I be able to benefit from from Magnus? I think I have to use a uh, Bengala Space Initiative. So that means provision is fine. After that, I want to spend more promotions towards uh, governors and putting them in into cities. Finished a builder in here. We were going to build a settler. Yeah, we're still good on policies. I don't know, 
I'll guess see what's over there. He wants to buy my Diplo Favor with iron. If you want my Diplo Favor that bad, put gold for it. I think we've gotten far enough in the game that I want to keep 30 Diplo Favor on hand in the future just so I can trigger a uh, natural disaster recovery events. Let's go ahead and get our extra culture. All right, so we finished our um, observatory. We flipped some of these tiles, which is perfect because he already improved that plantation, so now we're getting culture from that plantation. That's beautiful, in fact. Maybe I should go ahead and buy this tile because it's worth production. And it's a source of iron. This is the spinach tile. So do I build a builder in here? Or do I think I put a couple turns into a library while I'm waiting to get up to four population. I can't resist the temptation to go ahead and improve this uh, woods while I while I'm here with that builder. There's mathematics. Did I hard build mathematics? I guess I just did. Oops. That wasn't the plan, but that's what happened. Okay, and I will go ahead and make a farm triangle in, in Tikal. I'll probably make it off of the floodplain just to get these um, two farms improving this um, to a plus three campus. Because who knows when I'll get another builder down here. Rip plus, plus four observatory. See, that was a special session. That could have been me. That was a military emergency. Of some kind. Some people that I don't even know anything about. So this is a hill, right? Which means a chop is worth chopping out. So that's half a settler. We can get a full settler with one more chop. Gonna automate exploration on you. Military training is done. I am worried about him envying Tikal. Let's see how, where he is in terms of relationship. He's a minus tank of a culture above one of their cities. I didn't realize that was uh, that there were negative diplomatic consequences for that. But he's still, let's see, minus 19 and then he's even. Boy, I hope that uh I hope that we can work things out, Spain, because I don't want you to doubt the announcement. In fact, how long are we? More, we're friends for four more turns. Let's go ahead and give him some gold. Make deal, 100 gold, give a gift. Nine gold for spices, now he's trading spices with me, excellent. That's it, we're good. So I think, I think I'll build a mine here, and then I'll move and chop. Boy, I sure am worried about that culture bomb now. I didn't realize it would give me minus 10. Okay, we're at four population in here now, so it's time to go ahead and buy this commercial, or uh, build this commercial hub to try and uh, flip Nazca. We've got 16 turns, so we'll be able to do it for sure. I think I want to go ahead and connect this mine, or connect this iron and get this mine rolling. Even though he's he's really loving this his military all around my situation. This is the strongest farm that I could build. I do have five charges, and he's not moving his crossbow just yet. 
But now I'm starting to think about Victor. Ugh. Okay. Government is fine. Governors are fine. I think rather than chopping out this settler this turn, I'll wait until the capital finishes. It's so I'm just gonna skip turn here and go to the next turn. Good news is we only want four more settlers, so we're almost done. Settlers done, three more turns until this settler, which means we can go ahead and chop. So the settlers now. Let's put more time into a settler, and then we'll probably put a mine, and then we might buy this tile to get one more chop. Well, I guess we're out of chops, or we're out of this builder charges, so. Boy, he's not moving that crossbowman. He doesn't want me to have that iron. Well, let's go ahead and uh, backfill these farms. Two random technologies and the inspiration for one. If I get him, and then Isaac Newton is early... I will be sad. Let's take him and let's see who's next. And if Isaac Newton is next, we will just pray really, really hard. Okay, it's a bull. Oops. A boo. A boo is not important at all. So he's going to give us some Eurekas, right? What does he do? Triggers the Eureka for two random technologies from the Redeval or Renaissance. How many of these can we get? Not that many, actually. You'd think, but not many. So maybe we just do him now. Do diplomatic service, cartography, and gunpowder. I think that was probably okay. I'm going to juggle between medieval fairs and mercenaries on the off chance that Spain attacks me and I have to build a military. Although if Spain attacks me, I'm dead. Because I have 46 units. Or I have 46 military strength right now. What does our relationship look like? Plus 9. That favorable trade deal really helps out. Yeah, we're, we're back up to... Net positive. We can probably redeclare friendship. I think so, and I'll try to. So this settler's gonna go here. Oh no! Oh no, I didn't realize that that city was zoned out. Well, I guess we only need one more settler. And it's coming out of Kalik Mall. I didn't realize. Okay, well. That changes things. Because this will be Fox's industrial zone. Or observatory. This can still be Echo's. And then we'll take one more city down here. Now I have, now I'm actually wary about the number of cities that I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's really more like nine and a half because this city's going to be garbage. Oops, well, I guess I'm settling Echo next. Let's go towards Fox. Fox is the better city. Oh, that's really, really unfortunate. All right, I am back after a much-needed coffee break. Still mourning the loss of the city that I was too dumb to place a pin for, but I'm excited to actually start getting some of uh, my capital online here. I think I'm going to grab a builder really quick while the, the while the getting's good, uh, improve some of these tiles, get some farms down. I think that's probably the right play to call or right call. I don't think it could be the commercial hub, but I think I'll I'll squeak out a builder for six turns. Could also improve these farms, get some science. 
excited for buttress so I can get that dam online. I think I'll probably prioritize the dam over the commercial hub just because I'm about to build a bunch of farms throughout here and I don't want these uh, campuses to get pillaged either. This settler is probably going to come settle Echo and then we'll have that one last settler be our coastal city over here. And that will be our empire. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I could settle one more city up here. Actually, I can't because of Kamasi. Kamasi's just a jerk. Kamasi is a jerk. Shout out to my friend who does not like Cahokia. Okay, we're going to just go ahead and hard build Buttress. This builder is going to come up here and help uh, Kiryuga. Ki Kirigua. Holy crap, that's hard to pronounce. All right, and we're going to go ahead and put our observatory in here. I'm looking like Kalak Moles, the spaceport city, so a Diplo quarter right here and then a spaceport. Commercial hub could go there. Actually, no, that's going to be our dam because it's going to be our industrial zone. So maybe our Diplo quarter will come really, really late this time. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to... Uh, prioritize the diplomatic quarter because we don't have a whole lot of good uh, city-states that we know about. I think the Great Library is just a complete mistake for this game, so I'm not going to build it. Now comes the time to figure out where the farm triangles go, because if this is the spaceport, this is the diplo quarter, this is a... yeah, so this could be a farm triangle, which means this could actually be a commercial hub. Let's build our commercial hub here. I'm not sure what else I could build in here. I think it's I think it's economy or a bus, so I'm not gonna worry about walls. I'm not gonna worry about Spain. I anticipate we'll be able to be friends with them again because we've done the work. We'll just have to see next turn what happens. There's our mine. And he's still got troops on my border. I'm gonna just have the builders skip. Okay, there we go. I think I actually put the builders asleep rather than skip the turn. And I really want to get this iron online. But I think I'll go ahead and just grab the, the farm really quick. Just to get more food on everything. More housing here. Growth. Deliciousness. Okay, he's still friendly. We can declare our friendship and then we're good. So we have culture bombed him and survived it. Oof, what a relief. Oops, sorry. Looks like Hermetic Order is not going to be that useful for me this time. I I'm wondering if the Alchemical Society will make a, make a good difference here. We do have another governor promotion. I think I want to save up for Curator. And the other thing that I could get is I could get... Uh, Promotions in Arena, so I can get up to Contractor. This might be a CASA game, actually. To get more Governor promotions. Where is CASA? I almost never get it, so... The AI, the AI just seemed very good at, at getting CASA de Contracion. Maybe it's on the other tree. I thought it was a... Yeah, it's cartography here. I could actually do that. I could swing into cartography really quick, use that as my renaissance opener, and then grab the casa. Three governor promotions. All cities not on my original. Capital's continent game plus 15 production. But everything's on the same continent. Yeah, it's all Nuna. So no, I think that's not, not strong. Three governor promotions would be strong, but the extra missing out on everything is not good. So we'll grab Buttress, and then we'll get Education. This warrior's going to fortify. This is going to be a farm now. Look at me. I'm the farm now. Six turns until growth. We're not going to be able to get uh, the benefit of any uh, of these um, districts here. We'll be lucky if we get this granary out in a fast enough fashion. We can get some of these mines online, though. This could be a good Petro City, actually. 
There's no chops to build it, but... There are three mines. I guess that tile doesn't benefit from Petra. There are five mines, actually. It would be like an okay Petra city. It would be a pretty bad one, honestly. All right, this is the, the two turn, or two city turn here. Boom, boom. All right, and then Chichen Itza, we're gonna go ahead and immediately start the observatory. I'm not even gonna worry about efficiency. Am I? That's a plus four observatory up to plus, it's a plus five observatory. This would be plus two, three, four, and the theater square comes up to a plus two. If I actually build this theater square, this could also just be a commercial hub. I think that's the right call. It is one of our few production tiles though. So. Yeah, do I just sacrifice a couple science per turn to get some production in this city? Which doesn't have production elsewhere. Well, it does have production elsewhere. I just need to get to, um, what was it? Mercantilism pretty quick. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's a, a tell that I've watched Potato. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll go ahead and just build that observatory. We'll send this builder from uh, the capital over to get these uh, these plantations first. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. What do I do in this city? Another observatory? I don't see why not. There's nothing else to do in here. Get our observatories going. I'll probably also just buy that tile so I can work it. Or so I can uh, connect it and then sell. Well, there goes our gold. We now have another governor's title. I think I'll keep it around. If I can get up to plus two, then I'll get to tax collector. That could be good. I need to make sure that I have space initiative on uh, Pingala. Because I don't think this is a Magnus game. I'm gonna just take the Diplo favor so I can sell it. I have 11 Diplo favor to sell. Let's see if China will take 11 Diplo favor. Three gold per turn. Let's do it. What else can I sell? I guess I have oranges now that I could sell, but he already has oranges. Spain also already have oranges. Okay, everything's fine. Let's get our iron online so we can start selling that. Ugh. There's another thousand year flood, which we just weren't ready for because we just finished buttressing. I'm gonna go ahead and just build this dam before I do anything else. Oh, I can't build the dam there because I need to... Ugh. That's so frustrating. Well, I will, I guess I'll quash the rice. That's a dam for a different river. And I guess we just repaired the observatory really quick first. I guess it's not the end of the world. We did lose out on a bunch of science towards another great person. Good thing there's no great person. Uh, <laughs> there is a, sorry, ugh. there's no good great person. He's just a good person.
Okay, let's repair the library. Oh, it's not even completed. Seven turns until a library in here, or we could go ahead and damn this. I think maybe we just go ahead and damn this. Have a farm uh, uh, parallelogram. And then I could build a commercial hub. Yeah, let's build a dam there. Commercial hub can go next to the uh, government plaza. That's still a plus two commercial hub. This is a mine. Oh, and I meant to swap this tile to grow this city. All right, let's uh, repair our library really quick. Okay, so we culture bombed China. I forgot that that's actually worth negative consequences in our relationship. How long till that goes away? Very slowly. Why does he have grievances against us? We broke a promise? I don't see how we broke a promise because we didn't promise to settle in... I would have taken the grievances if I had known that... Is it because we settled two cities in that same turn? I think so. Well, I've got to work on... Uh, these relationships. Favorable trade deals are only providing plus four right now. How long until we're... 19 more turns of friendship. I think I'll, I'll hold off on trying to repair any kind of relationship with it. Let's grab a monument in here. There's education and mercenaries. Actually, let, let me take a look at the governor promotions. We're going to get two here. Two here. So we get four more promotions. That might be it for the rest of the game, actually, though. We know we want two for the Alchemical Society, and we want two for Pingala. I have one more available. Can I afford another governor so that I can grow another city? Because the audience chamber doesn't work unless you have governors in the cities. For example, Uxmal does not have housing in here. Hmm. So I think maybe I could get one more governor title. I don't even know if I want to get that uh, last ability on the Hermetic Order. Don't know if it's important. Indoctrination is really important. But I am going to get one more governor title. Oops. I'm going to get one more governor title. I'm going to probably put it in uh, Wa... Sakton. Gosh, trying to pronounce these are, is, is really bad. I'm going to grab Amani because she can actually be... Well, no. I'm going to grab Victor because I could use him to defend in case of uh, ultimate war. Plus he can move around faster and establish and get um, housing up faster. So we finished education. We can now build universities. I think the next thing to do is try to go for industrialization. Maybe banking, so I can get banks. Great Zimbabwe might be nice. Do we have cattle anywhere? We don't. We have cattle right here, so I could build the Great Zimbabwe in the capital. It's actually an, an interesting idea. I do like the Great Zimbabwe. I think it's okay. Gives us a uh, yeah plus one trade route. Trade routes from the city get plus two gold for every bonus resource within three tiles of the city and in the city's territory. How many bonus resources are there? 
one, two, three, four. So it'd be plus eight, right? One, two, three, four. Let's go for it. Why not? Because I haven't built a wonder this game, so I might as well. It might not be the best decision to make, but it's certainly the fun one. And I want to get the stam running because this is just obnoxious. Speaking of which, uh, once I finish this settler, I'll probably put the dam there. Let's go ahead and lock in the price of that dam to switch tiles. There's a dam. This also could be an aqueduct to improve this industrial zone, which might actually be worth it. And then I could build the um, quarter here and then the uh, spaceport there and just zone it out of its uh, farms eventually. Could also build the spaceport over here and the diplomatic quarter right here. That might actually be better. I don't see anything else that I can really... Probably I should have built that uh, commercial hub next to the ley line. Too late now. Maybe I can build something from the capital there or something, or something from Oaks Mall. Like, I could actually build its commercial hub there and not have to get that chop. I've got one builder charge on this guy. I guess I could get some housing and a farm in here. I kind of like the idea of saving this builder around to get a farm triangle once the farms are done. Or once the borders are expanded. Oh, I didn't even think about changing around. I probably should have swapped out colonization now that I think about it. In six turns, we'll, we'll see. Oh, I didn't mean to work on the dam. I meant to finish that settler. Oops. Okay, settler. Boom. And right now, this is actually the best production city that we have. I think I'll finish the commercial hub in here. I'll probably buy the alchemical society in here. And then, yeah, a thousand gold. Once I finish... Uh, the commercial hub in the Alchemical Society, I'll just have this uh, city continually build builders for the rest of the Empire. It's not usually how I like to play, but that is what this game is calling for. This city is actually pretty good. Uh, let's, give, let's grab our uh, library because it's only going to take three turns, and then let's grab our market, and then we'll, we'll start our trader, and then we'll build the Alchemical Society after that. There's a dam here? I guess this is technically floodplain. Let's go ahead and lock in the price of this dam so we can get some energy from this city. Yay. I'm not too worried about a flood there though. This builder's gonna go to sleep. And this city's gonna build a monument, I think. Let's go ahead and lock in the price of its observatory though. We need to swap this tile. But I want the borders to grow. So I'd rather go ahead and get the monument really quick. It won't take too long, and then I get some extra culture. Oops. You can go ahead and connect the spices. So moderate flood somewhere else. I wish the game didn't actually have those hover for other places, because it makes me think that it's my empire. How are we with Spain? He's got, he's gonna, do, all of our grievances are gonna diminish before we, our friendship expires. Matter of fact, we might want to go ahead and grab alliances so that they're even more likely to continue renewing our friendships. Yeah, we'll wait until after exploration for that though. It's not actually that important to us. We don't have very many traders. That gives us some more time to get these traders online. And of course, dams are more important because we keep getting our butts kicked with these floods. Let's, uh, let's build that plantation. And yeah, this is a plus three. As long as they're all plus three, I'm happy. 
Speaking of which, we now have spices that we can sell. Do you have spices? Mercury. He will he will trade me for mercury, that's good. I think Spain already has some mercury. Yeah, so they don't want it, but do they want spices? No. They already have dyes, oops. Chen Shi Huang, do you have dyes? You do have dyes, okay. What about seven Diplofer? Two gold per turn. It's done. What'd you give me for iron? 12 gold? Oops. How about 20 iron? Oops. Six gold per turn for 20 iron. You got it, dude. We're friends. All right, I think that's actually probably a good place to call it. We've got one more city to settle in the next episode, which we'll probably go over here and try to grab the mausoleum if we can. It's going to be really difficult, but if we can, then might as well get it, get some extra charges on our engineers. Get a bunch of great admirals so we can then uh, have our ley lines be even better. But yeah, I like the way this game is going. Uh, it It's shaping up to be a pretty unique one. And uh, I've got enough cities that I feel like I can win the game even off of kind of a small empire here. But yeah, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Let me go ahead and uh, say if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one.